Rita Tinina, KTN News. Muhariri wa NTV na basi aliyekuwa mwanahabari wa runinga ya KTN aga dunia. Hujambo na karibu langu jina ni Jitabi Suleiman. Rita Tinina ambaye alitarajiwa kuwa zamu katika runinga ya NTV hakuripoti kazini jambo ambalo lilozua wasiwasi kuhusu haliko. Ni habari ambayo wakenya wengi wameipokea kwa huzuni tana sana. Na basi si wa Kenya peke yao ila basi dunia kwa jumla. Mwanahabari Rita Atnina ameacha mtoto mchanga mwenye umri wa miaka saba. Rita Atnina alihitimu kutoka chuo cha UON ambapo alifanya utangazaji. Dennis Itumbi basi alishiriki kumbukumbu zake za Atnina akisema ya kwamba safiri salama Rita Atnina katika uandishi wa habari unasalia kuwa mwanahabari mkubwa licha ya kuwakilisha vituo vikubwa nilipokuwa nikifanya kazi kwa vyombo vidogo vya habari unyenyekevu wako ulijitokeza tulipoandika matukio pamoja na basi acha roho yake ipumzike kwa amani nataka tukumbuke mambo ambayo alifanya mema huko kwenye runinga ya NTV na basi kwenye runinga ya KTN After 93 days of grandstanding doctors may have lost the battle for better pain with a seemingly lost cause it will be time for a reality check for the doctors as the president and county governments play hardball Rita Tinina KTN News As a media fraternity um, even just by virtue of all those who are here to mourn our sister Rita um, It's very interesting that today she was meant to be on shift at NTV. She's one of the editors. It was her shift at work. Um, but she didn't show up and so after a couple of calls we got the unfortunate news that she'd passed on. Rita has been my producer for the one o'clock bulletin uh, on Sundays for the past about five Sundays. Uh, today I didn't know that I'll go on air and she wouldn't be there uh, to produce uh, this uh, bulletin. But aside from the beautiful last moments with, we had with her during our, our lunch session and my colleague Duncan Haemba, I'd like to say that uh, we've lost a trailblazer. I remember when I was young, I'd look up to Rita Tinina as a female Maasai journalist. And that meant a lot, especially uh, with the retrogressive cultures around our community. And I, um, as much as I'm shocked, I also just want to celebrate her life. Rita was who she was, very laid back person of very few words but very friendly so yeah it is a, it, it is a big blow but uh, just to confirm on Thursday when she, before she knocked off she was in the office because she was, was the one in charge of the evening bulletin and today when my colleague coincidentally was going on air called me and told me that uh, they can't reach her we need to find out It was very difficult to try and start making those calls to look for her. And sadly, I wanted to get in touch with the sister, I couldn't. But uh, my third call has confirmed the, the sad news. We have lost, and um, we have lost. I'll just say it's really sad that she had to go without goodbyes. I met her about a week ago, and we were in traffic. And I used to call her T9. Then I just said, T9, how are you? And she lowered her window and said hi to me and drove off so that was Rita I'll just say that God rest happy